Hi Virgo and welcome to your mid-month which is the last two weeks of March just to see if there's anything that I missed out in my um, monthly reading to see if there's any extra messages or uh, that needs to be told here for you so anywhere that you have Virgo in your chart this is your reading and anytime you see this will be the right time if the reading does not resonate with you look at your other placements okay and if that doesn't resonate then I'll catch you next time in the reading you take what's yours and the, you let the rest go and also feel free to swap the energies around so we're gonna get started with the wisdom of the Oracle cards we're going to look at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. For Virgo, one more time. Perfect. How you all doing, Virgo? Hope you're doing well. Okay. Let's look at you for the mid month in March 2024 for Virgo. Let's look at your recent past. You got not for you. So there was something that was not for you, and it was a warning. <coughs> Number six in the numerology. So maybe there was a situation that was for, not for you, a job, a person, or a situation here, because it was very difficult. And I feel a lot of you were not getting the help and support from a situation here, okay, uh, if you did ask for it. Um, a lot of you are tired at this time, or were tired, okay. Um, it was important to rest as much as you could have um yeah so there's a lot of emotions attached to this let's look at the current energy what's this what's in the current energy for virgo no i thought that card wanted to jump what's in the current energy for virgo blessed number 22 well it's about whatever it is that you've been trying you know trying to um manifest out there it's about keeping the faith okay feeling blessed feeling grateful for everything that you have number 22 is a very strong number it's a master number it's about mas mastery okay maintaining mastery and maintaining this blessed energy around you having the faith that whatever that's supposed to come in will be coming in or it is already here with you you just need to access it let's look at the immediate future there we go breathe Number 29. So it's important to take a deep breath in and breathe out. Take a deep breath out, especially when it comes to if things are been chaotic in a situation around you. It's about finding your ground, finding your inner peace. It's about bringing, breathing things through. Okay. So we are going to take out a confirmation card that I will give it to you at the end of the reading for you, Virgo. Oops, too many cards. There we go. That card went through. Some of you have already saw it already. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to do your recent past. We're going to look at your current energy, the immediate future. What is your challenge? No. Let's do this again. The cards are. more time I will take out some oracle cards because I do have new oracle cards just to give an ex additional message to your reading Look at the recent past. We've got the three of wands. We've been waiting for something here. New opportunities to come in. Five of wands. Knight of swords. In the recent past here with the three of wands, five of wands, and the knight of swords, there could have been some type of complication with someone here. There could have been conflict 
here that you had with someone. Maybe there was a competition. Uh, there was someone there that was very impatient and assertive in the way that they communicated, okay, in this message that came in as you were waiting for it, but almost like your whatever message that came through, whether this is within you, around you, in the situation here, uh, it almost feels like you had your back turned to the situation here because you were looking for a new beginning. Let's look at the current energy. You got the three, five of swords. So number fifty-five. This the nine of pentacles and the full card okay there's a new beginning here for you in the current energy but there's a i feel that there's trust issues in the situation you're looking into the past here definitely in your current energy you're looking into the past with this five of wands uh okay um there could have been of course there's conflict and uh in the situation but there's also like something to do with trust here okay that's being emphasized and <clears throat> maybe your mind goes there sometimes but um you are like really nurturing yourself at this time you're really taking care of yourself you're nurturing yourself you're very independent and i do see prosperity around you okay it's about being in the moment it's important to stay in the moment here because there is a new beginning and there's a portal that's taking place with this new beginning okay so let's look at the immediate future immediate future you got the two of wands you're making plans here the three of cups there could be socializing networking reunions that are taking place just very joyful energy um, definitely you have two paths to choose from here and let's see we got the two of wands the three of cups and what else one more card the seven of swords with the seven of swords energy i feel like you're keeping quiet here or there's something that you feel feel like you're keeping quiet about things here if there's two people or two situations or two situ two paths that you have to do here um and it's let's, let's say it has to do with some type of reunion because I feel there's a reunion here or some type of energy of that. <coughs> Whatever it is here. I feel you keep <clears throat> Sorry. My voice is changing today. I feel you're keeping quiet about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, you guys are not talking. My throat just went... <clears> Hold <throat> oh, on, I'm going to take some sort of water. Yeah, you're keeping quiet about something here, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's look at challenge and the outcome, and then I'll give you advice on it. <clears throat> Three cards want to come out, wow, okay. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Number 88 is very strong in your reading as well. And in the overall, you got the Ace of Swords. Also with the Six of Cups, there's a lot of memories of the past or some, someone of the past here where um, you had to uh, take the blindfold off because you had to make a decision here. And uh, whoever that it was attached to this, whatever the situation this has to do with, whoever if this is about emotions and the way you were thinking, there was a lot of patterns here in the situation. Someone maybe that you were bonded to or a situation you were bonded to waiting for results to come in or some type of growth, right? Yeah, there could have been an ending. Uh, you went through that. You went through a huge transformation here, okay? So I am going to take out uh, some Oracle cards for you. I already pre-shuffled them. This is for Virgo mid month. These are so. Uh, this is a. This is a tree. A tree. They're trees. Um, so full trees. Oracle deck. Oh, okay. 
you are being guided it's showing me that you're being guided at this time you're manifesting and they're asking you to go within and they want you to follow through there is a lot of synchronicities around you maybe in numerology uh, just seeing signs uh, there's a lot of things happening for you around uh, so yeah so whatever it is here you are being guided and you are as you, as you're co-creating as you're putting the, your desires out there um, they want you to follow through in the situation and they want you to go within okay so it's very important here uh, also I'm gonna take out extra cards like I said I pre-shuffled them before the reading because I like to shuffle for a very long time so this is for Virgo mid-month what message do you have here for Virgo good fortune invite magic in so you have good fortune here okay and last but not least one more card here for you for Virgo okay this has to do with your childhood there's something with the childhood energy or you're having or this is has to do with something of the past there could have been healing and energy here feeling nostalgic around this time um, you got abundance healing and minder there's a path here you had to take the path was not straight for healing for a lot of you out there you had to go off the path many times but there is definitely healing that's taking place here being healed or healed you already are but this is what is showing up okay so we're going to clarify the cards we're going to start with the ace of swords so there is a, a breakthrough here this could be success for you new ideas uh, just a breakthrough clearing the clouds clearing something here with the ace of swords it could be communication seeing things clear okay with the ace of swords okay so let's look at the ace of swords in the overall we got the nine of swords there's a there's been a lot of worry uh, insomnia you were you, were, you know maybe you're in your head about it uh, maybe you had anxiety or fear in the situation here not able to sleep um but again with this nine of swords and this ace of swords it shows me here there's a new beginning here because there is a breakthrough because you also got the wheel of fortune and the empress energy so you got jupiter here expansion you got venus here finances and love for some of you uh yeah definitely there's a turning point there's good luck indicated here um changes in destiny karma and with the empress this is about maybe some something about your creativity or like I said, new opportunities and abundance coming in because you also got the star card, which is a wish that's going to be granted here for you. Okay, it's about keeping the faith. Let's look at the recent past. Let's look at this five of wands and this knight of wands or swords. Five of wands confirmation for the card. Yes, definitely there was there was there was chaos in the situation here. Okay, arguments, whatever it was, competition. Okay. the two of cups this could have been a union that you were in a partnership whatever this was here there was definitely a lot of chaotic chaotic or just like chaos and conflict there like this it was shown to me and it had to do with someone from your past you know for some of you this was uh look you were looking back into it you were looking back or in the recent past you were looking back into it because the six of cups shows up twice here but there's a there's a turning point that took place here so with this three of wands because you also got the eight of, of wands here so th there's some type of uh, there's a shift that's taking place from this okay where there was there's going to be communication something is going to take flight here and they're asking you to do it now okay so they're asking you to do something and this is about taking the direction and going for it let's look at this three of wands 
Where's the three of wands here? Three of wands. Okay, so they're showing me something. Ooh, yeah, this is something big. Look at that. You got the emperor, right? Because we're going, we are in the, uh, we're going to be in the season of emperor, the Aries energy, Mars, ten of swords with justice card. That's beautiful. It's about being in the present moment. So you are waiting for something to come in here, okay? An opportunity that's going to take place and it's shifting. Something's shifting here, okay? There's an ending of an era, a cycle, dead end. Your 10 becomes a 1, which you got it with the Ace of Swords. The Emperor is about taking control, taking a stand, being in the present moment. Not looking in the past, not looking in the future, but being in the present moment and taking action towards whatever this commitment is for you. With the Justice card, something is coming into balance, okay? There will be clarity and truth here, law in effect. But this also is showing me, yes, okay. Um, April 8th, when there's going to be the, the eclipse in Libra, something is going to come to justice for you, okay? And there you are underneath as the hermit, okay? It's time to go within. Or you have been doing this for a while. Let's look at... The Five of Swords with the Hermit. Yeah, as you're looking back, if there's trust issues or there was conflict here, you are uh, finding inner guidance. A lot of you are contemplating at this time. Uh, you're meditating towards something, right? If something was unjust, something is going to be justified here, 100%. Because there was some type of deceit around you. Definitely, there was some type of deceit. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles with the full card in the current energy. Four cups. And being skeptical. 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 Queen of Wands. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Two of Swords. Uh, it's about taking a, a step back. You know, some of you are tired at this time. Maybe it's time to heal at this time or just rest, uh, taking a break, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, with the Two of Swords and Energy, uh, there's tough decisions that you have to make, okay? And you're stuck in the middle of a, you're stuck in the middle of, a, of this situation, okay? And maybe you're blinded to the truth about it, okay? Or you're, there's a decision that has to be made here because you are being skeptical in your, this new beginning that's taking place. And with the Queen of Wands, this is about your independence and it's also about your confidence. Because I do see some type of teamwork or learning in, or some type of offer. Give me one more card for the overall, for the current energy. Yeah, there will be uh, definitely a message coming in, okay? Someone that's going to be very assertive in the current energy here. Um, there's... They could feel impatient. This person is going to come in very, whoever this person is, is coming in for a direct action. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you've been waiting for something to come in because you've been at crossroads here. Um, you're waiting for some type of results or growth, and you are going to be receiving a message in the current energy. Let's look at the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups here. Definitely changes that are going to take place. You got the Five of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you are grounded here. There's this energy of being stable. Uh, but there, you, someone here is holding back, okay, in the immediate future. There's disappointment and sadness. And some of you are focused uh, in the negative part or there's something negative here. There's an ending of that. Someone is holding back. They're covering their heart here. They're covering. Someone is holding back how they truly feel. Not seeing seeing the servo, servo, silver lining. There could have been third party situations, not, not just third party, but people, places, or work, whatever it was here. There's something here. What can you, else can you tell me about this? Someone here is being very secretive in how they're feeling. Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Three of Cups. With the King of Swords and Energy here. Uh, you will have clarity. There's clarity on this, okay? And someone is about, it's about thinking logical, but it's about mental clarity in a situation, okay? As uh, you're making plans here. There's definitely, uh, you've been manifesting and putting a lot of willpower and desire into something here. 
And with the Page of Pentacles, uh, definitely there is going to, of course, it shows me there could be a new job or a new person or a new situation coming in with potential. Um, and you've been planning this, or not planning this, manifesting this, uh, yes, death card. You, Eric, there's, there's endings of cycles, there's new beginnings, and it's about letting go, and there's change coming in here for you. Let's look at the Seven of Swords in your new future. Page of Wands. There's a new beginning. It's about you being confident here because there is a new journey that's opening up here for you in divine timing. Eight of Pentacles. There's something that you've been putting a lot of energy and work into, and it's definitely going to pay off here, okay? I do see that. Now, in the uh, outcome, in the challenge here, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Eight of, of Swords. A lot of you are feeling trapped or you're overthinking something or you're thinking negatively about something. But with the Eight of Wands, there is a turning point here. Something is going to take flight. Okay, uh, swift messages, movement, everything. And uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, this could be in terms of fin finances for you or you're feeling stuck. Something is coming in here. Uh, I feel that you're going to be busy here. You're very generous in energy and very grounded. Again, like you're making plans here and there's decisions that you have to make. So let's see what the advice is for the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Got the Page of Cups. Yeah, there is going to be happy news here around the situation. There could be a collaboration, teamwork, okay? Learning, people coming together. You're going to be going through a huge transformation Yes, with the Eight of Swords, you are feeling helpless, here, helpless right? There's an energy here of uh, that you're um, feeling trapped, but there's an ending. There's a transformation, okay, definitely. So it's about, what's the advice here? It's about releasing, letting go. You have to let go of whatever it is with this Eight of Swords that you're holding on to. You need to go within because there is abundance here for you. There's healing here for you. Okay, definitely. And there's good fortune around you, but you need to follow through in a situation. It's very important that you need to follow through. Now, um, let me see what else I could take out for you. Virgo. The sacred symbols. Virgo movement. Stormy. In the recent past, number 21. There could have been drama around you, drama alert. Could have been if you were traveling, things could have got like, sh probably were going, we weathering a storm, but everything is going to be okay here. But definitely, it could have been drama, okay, is what Stormy is. Let's look at in the current energy. Full moon. So the next full moon, there's something here, okay, in the next full moon. I just don't remember the date. I'm sorry, Virgo. You're going to have to check that out. Or you're completing something here with the next full moon. And healer, number 32, right? Some of you are healing or you're a healer. There's something you're completing here. Some of you, that's, there, there, there is some type of help coming in for you, affluence, number five. So there is definitely changes coming in. Now we're going to look into uh, when this is going to happen. And then I'm going to give you your angel numbers. So you have Jupiter, Mars. You got the solar eclipse in Libra coming in. Pluto. that are affecting your reading so let's see for Virgo give me a time here in the winter
in autumn in progress now okay we're going to look at an affirmation card for you too i almost forgot what's the affirmation card for virgo in the month march of 2024 the path of light i need my glasses for this the path to light <laughs> okay this is your affirmation card i move I make the conscious choice to move forward. Sorry. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. And Virgo, you are the healers. You know that. Look into your uh, rising sign, of course, as well. But uh, if you are a Virgo sun sign, you read about the virgo sun sign this is where you're going to find your purpose and check out also your rising sign that will also show you what your purpose is okay virgo let's look at your angel numbers for virgo. okay you got good fortune that comes in 1331 good fortune it says here, uh, have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future, a piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. And you've got number 2424, 24, which talks about good times. Okay, you are worthy of affection, leisure and pleasure. If you tell your family and friends how you feel, you'll find that you're all on the same page and can work together effectively. Many people are rooting for you. If you spread love, it will find its way back to you multiplied. Beautiful. So now we are going to take out, last but not least, messages from the universe. Oh, there's 1010. This one too came out. It's up to you. 1010. I didn't see this one come out. It's time to put those long cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with the appropriate individual circumstances and resources. Eventually you will experience joy as well as a brand new as brand new joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust the process. Okay, I didn't see that one. So let's see what the messages are for Virgo from the universe. Okay, so Virgo, make it your mission to accept all parts of you, the good and what you're perceived to be your imperfections. Don't look for any outside validation. It's already within you. Once you realize your true beauty and potential, you will never doubt yourself again. And you got here, Virgo, you are not moving too slowly. Drop the self-induced pressure. You are at the sweet spot between taking care of yourself and still making advancements on your goals. On this path, there is no such thing as being behind. Smile, breathe, carry on. Okay, that's beautiful. And now let's look at your confirmation card for the reading. And you got the full. Like I said, there's a new beginning that's taking place here for you. It's about coming to the edge. It's about taking action. It's about taking a leap of faith. So if you're going, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Because it does really help my channel. If you want to share this video with others, if you feel that they need it, then please do. Please take care, and I'll see you soon.